In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to load an image with JavaScript. So if you want to load an image onto the page with JavaScript, you're going to need an image tag to work with, and I'm going to assume that you don't have one on your page already. So let's go ahead and create a new image tag and append it to our body of our existing document. So we can see in our inspector that we've got the image tag now appended to our body and all we need to do with our JavaScript code is to update the source attribute to load in an image. So for example, if I've got an image called small.jpg, just by setting that source attribute, we can actually load in an image from whatever path or URL we assign to it. So whilst this works okay for small images, what happens if you're trying to load in a really large image or even if it's a relatively modest image, but the user's got a poor network connection. This time I've set my network to simulate a slow 3G connection, and if we load in a larger image, you can see it takes quite a long time for the browser to actually render it as it's receiving data from the network. And when it eventually loads, you'll see a picture of an ice cream that's been loaded from the big.jpg image. So one thing we can do is apply a small loading image to the image tag that we create and then separately create another image tag and load in that larger image to the one that we've just inserted into the document. So let's first of all, with the image that we've added into our document, apply a spinner image, which I've downloaded, to indicate that an image is loading. And now let's create another image tag and we're actually going to set up an event listener on this to listen for the load event. And this will actually be triggered when we assign a source property to the temp image variable and that image is ready to be used. In other words, it's been downloaded from the network. So when that larger image has loaded, let's swap out the spinner.gif on the original image tag to use that larger image. So to load in that larger image, let's assign it to the temp image.source property. And after a few seconds, when that's loaded, we get the message in the console, and we can also see that the spin has been replaced with the larger image. So that's just a small technique that you might want to use in your code if you're loading in larger images, or you're conscious about the user's network connection being poor.